Hello, everyone. You are here to learn some fat in three minutes. It kept raining heavily these days, and what comes along with heavy rain in the city is serious traffic jam. It is really a disaster to be locked up in the bus for hours, and even worse if you are nearly late for school or late for work. However, when things are going bad, there is always something even more unfortunate to happen. When I looked outside the window, I saw the cars on the two lanes aside were moving, but not mine. Only my lane was completely stuck there. Do you have a similar experience as me? Do you think that cars in the outside lanes are always moving quicker in the traffic jam? The first reason we have this feeling is that the other lanes are really moving quicker because of the traffic condition. The outside lanes may be heading to a less crowded area. Where fewer cars are going to that direction, or there can be an unfortunate car accident on your lane, while the others are fine, or they don't have a traffic light for the outside lane, while there's one on your lane. There can be many possible reasons for it to happen. Yet, in the reality, indeed, cars on all the lanes are moving with a similar velocity. And what causes us to misbelieve that the cars in outside lanes are moving faster? It is that we have a selective attention on traffic situation. We always underestimate how often we are moving in the faster lane and overemphasize the time when we are moving in the slower lane. Imagine your bus is moving quickly on your lane. Are you interested in what is happening in the outside lane? Will you care about whether the cars in the outside lanes are moving quicker or not? No, you won't. Because you are already satisfied with your current speed, and changing lane will bring you no benefit. Therefore, even if you are moving quicker than outside lane, in your memory, you will never notice this happening. We won't remember it when we are moving faster. On the other hand, when we are stuck in our lane, we will think that the current situation is problematic, and we have to find a better way to solve it. One of the options is to change our lane to the outside lane. At this moment, we will compare our speed with the cars in the outside lane. If they are moving faster than us, we will have a deep memory like, why this driver is so stubborn and keep driving on the same lane. From time to time, we will have more memory about we staying on the slowest lane while forgetting about the time when we are indeed faster. So, when we talk about whether the cars in the outside lanes are always quicker, you will answer yes. You have now learned why the cars in the outside lanes are moving quicker. Constantly changing lanes indeed won't help you to get faster. Subscribe to the channel so you can always learn something new in three minutes. This is three minutes fat. Thank you for watching.